let's talk about that patch. So, patch 3.1.0 came out. They did a lot of character adjustments, some buffs, some nerfs. Olimar was hit, I would say, uh, the hardest. Um, and I'll try and go into why I think that. Um, but before I really get into all the changes and all that, I want to ask you that maybe if you're watching this and you're not a fan of Olimar or you're thinking he deserved these buffs, um, because Smash Attack shouldn't do this or that, try to go into this video with an open mind and understand that certain Smash characters, uh, they function differently than other characters. Some characters use smashes as other ones would use aerials. Some characters damage themselves when they do their attacks and they get rewarded for it. So, you know, when you have a game with 70 plus characters, you're going to have to get varying styles of gameplay uh, to make things not get stale. So while it may not be the norm to use smash attacks in the same way Olimar does, it's it's just how he's always functioned. Even in um, Brawl and Smash 4, that was his go-to option for a lot of things. Um, and that's there's reasons for that, which I'll try and break down. But yeah, I'm going to touch down on the nerfs, um, how I think they impacted him, and why uh, I think they were... Uh, worse than some people may originally think um, and then I'll kind of give my opinions on what we can do uh, to try and still make the character work and if he's still good and all that jazz but let's get right into it um, so the first one is uh, Olimar is now easier to hit so what they did is they made Olimar's helmet so you know Olimar has his model his helmet is now bigger the hurt box is bigger I should say the models actually the same I believe so if you go to here, you can see the the original like gray was his hurt box and all that before, right? The black is now his new hurt box. So it's just outright bigger than his model. It doesn't match it, but also to make things worse, they had increased the size of his helmet, right? But they didn't increase his shield size. So you get a lot of um a lot of scenarios where here I'll just show you some some clips of it you get a lot of scenarios where you get shield poked when you have a borderline full shield and that's not very good um, you know there's these clips where you see Zelda running up and hitting an almost full shield Olimar um, just for you know, shielding. Uh, there's more clips where Ridley can run and up smash him and things like that. Um, so because they didn't, they didn't increase his shield size. He now doesn't have a functioning shield that won't even protect him. I know people have said you could tilt your shield up or down, uh, down. I think because he slightly crouches some up to maybe put the shield on top of you. But the problems with that are, um, well, we don't know what happened to the shield even diminishes slightly. It might just not cover your massive invisible hurt box around your head now but also it's not realistic to be able to angle your shield up every time you shield on something you know like yeah there are instances where you can do it but it's just not like you shouldn't have to do it every time right so I think that that's definitely an oversight um, you know all of these were definitely intentional changes that they went for including the helmet hitbox hurt box increase but I think it was just an oversight on them for not um increasing his shield because they did the same for Pichu except they increased the shield size on Pichu as well so I'm you know that's just bad <laughs> you can't do much about it if your shields getting poked you can try and tilt it but shielding is like a liability right now it's kind of scary to do so uh, you know you're gonna need to try and stay away from your opponent more which I will also touch down on why you need to do that when I get into the the, the smash attack change and, th and things like that so it's it's tough but Pairing is going to be even more important, I'd imagine. Um, I think it'll still be good. I don't exactly know how it'll interact with the new hurt box size, but just be ready to get hit more. Um, so we'll, we'll go into F Smash next. So reduced high damage window. What that means is they, um, they made the sweet spot of Olimar's forward smash active for less time. Um, and to give you accurate numbers, uh, let me find it. So, bef they, they essentially halved it. So before, 
Sweet Smash or Sweet Spot Forward Smash would be active from frames 11 through 14, you know, right when the move started, and then it would go into the Sour Spot and the second Sour Spot. Now they've made it to where it's only active for two frames, 11 and 12, on every color. So I have this move. Now, Olimar has this move now that is not safe on shield, which, especially with this patch. So you can't pressure reliably with it on shield. Um, that is only active as its, like, best kill power um, for two frames. Loses to aerial attacks. Does, because it's a projectile so you can clank with it. Does almost no shield damage due to the patch, uh, the, the changes in 3.0, where they uh, nerfed the shield damage of side smash. Or forward smash, and um, and finally they also nerfed the distance of Olimar's purple forward smash. So all the other colors are the same distance. But if you look closely, like this is the nerfed version. That's the unnerfed version. They're making purple forward smash go even less distance than it was going before, because of how they nerfed the um, the hitboxes on it. Or the, they nerfed the the sweet the sweet spot on it. So now you have a move that is active in its at its most powerful form for two frames. Uh, barely goes anywhere with purple. Isn't safe like a purple forward smash when you use it on your shield. It's minus eleven, and what that means is that when I hit your shield with a purple forward smash sweet spot, you can act eleven frames before me. So if you have any aerial frame 8 or faster that will hit me while you're on the ground, while I'm on the ground, uh, any up B or up smash that is uh, 11 frames or faster, and there's a lot of them, you know, I believe Kroms is, uh, Clouds I'm pretty sure, uh, Marth, Lucina, Mario, Bowser, tons of other characters, and those are just up Bs um, that can hit him, um, he, he's getting punished for this. So they... They've pretty much made forward smash a terrible move. Like, it hits hard, sure, and it does good damage, yes. But it also has three more frames of lag. Its first active frame was 40 before, so that's, you know, once you did the move, you could act on frame 40, I believe. It might have been 39, actually. Um, but they gave it three more frames, I believe. So now, on top of it being unsafe before, because it was minus 8 before with a purple, now it's minus 11. Now I can't even use it in neutral as much. Um, so, whereas Olimar before would kind of use forward smash as like a baiting type option where he would throw it out and he'd kind of force you to respect space and he might make you commit to something or he might catch you as you're coming in, that's even more of a liability now uh, because they added more lag to it. So, you're, you're kind of in a spot where you can't throw it out as freely. It doesn't do much of anything except hit hard if you hit them, but now it's even harder to, like, land the sweet spot because it's only active for two frames. Um, on top of the fact that it already loses to every aerial in the game. So, I'm not sure what their reasoning behind this was. Uh, that's been, like, a staple of how Olimar has done neutral for the entirety of, I think, um, you know, since he's been in the games, like, with Brawl and stuff, and Smash 4, definitely. Um, and them gutting this is kind of bad. It's just been like a steady thing over the patches. Um, and another reason that it's problematic is that is your main forward-facing tool um, to pressure because you can't spam grab, you can't spam pivot grab in this game because the lag on it is so high. Let me see if they have it right here. The lag on his grab is so high with multiple Pikmin that you just don't... So, right here, these are the different... Um, landing lag value, or these are the different end lag values. It, uh, it's one Pikmin, two Pikmin, and three Pikmin. So, one Pikmin, yeah, oh, it doesn't look too, too bad, um, but it doesn't go that far. And even then, like, a pivot grab with the first active frame of 44, that's still just as laggy as a forward smash, but with, you know, not the greatest range. And the more Pikmin you add, the, like, it becomes much more committal. Like, a dash grab is 68 frames with three Pikmin. So, you Pivot grabs 60 frames. That's almost double of what it was in Smash 4 and Brawl, I believe. So you can't be using that in neutral a lot. So it like how is Olimar supposed to control this horizontal pressure? His aerials are transcendent, yes. Um, and that is good. 
but the problem is he's one of the slowest characters in the game. Um, he has like the slowest initial dash, one of the worst air speeds, uh, like a top 50 or something like that. He's like in the 50s range for his dash speed. So he's just like slow overall. And his startup isn't the fastest. It's kind of like a medium level startup where he's got like some, you know, frame 7, frame uh, 10, 8, 9, kind of ranges in there. Um, but another problem with that, like, so you see here, his aerials are relatively safe if you do them with purple and all that, but they have to be done retreating. So I have to be f pulling away from you to do them usually landing relatively close after I hit them, to be almost as safe or as safe as some of the other top tiers bread and butter combo or like uh, shield pressure moves. So now we have an instance where there's just not like a good way to pressure shield um, because now forward smash, and it wasn't even that safe before uh, to give you some, some general numbers. Uh, before, you know, purple uh, forward smash was minus eight, now it's minus 11. Red was minus 10, now it's minus 13. And they made the sweet spot worse, so you're going to be hitting Sour Spot more often, which is even less safe. He doesn't have a way to hit shields in a game where almost all top tiers, or all top tiers, I believe, have a way to hit shields safely, have a way to poke you in neutral, and force you to respect that option um, on your shield. And um, and they're also usually faster. So Olimar is having to work harder to get the right Pikmin. He's having to do his mechanics, like his his own mechanics, with the downsides that come with them, like the clanking smashes or the Pikmin desyncs. But now he's getting almost nothing for it, uh, and I I can't figure out why. But uh, I use that to segue into uh, up smash as well. Up smash also got three frames more um, lag on the move, and I know a lot of people like to call this move the like do it all move. It's super safe, can never get punished, combos, kills, does it all. Um, I'll admit it's a pretty pretty strong move. Uh, when you use a purple, especially, it had it had a lot of la or it had a little lag. It could combo, it could kill, but the move wasn't the do it all type move. Uh, if I hit your shield with it, generally, like with a purple, when it was fresh, it was minus five. So you had five frames back before I could. That means you could get out of there. You could jump. You could roll. You know, you could. You just couldn't try to hit me back. Um, and that was also another one of my shield pressure tools. That was my primary shield pressure tool uh, up close with Olimar. But the thing that a lot of people don't know is that every time you would do it with Olimar, so let's say I up smash once, it's minus 5. I up smash again, it's now minus 7 because it's staled. I up smash again, it's minus 9. So every time I'm using this on shield consecutively, it's getting worse. Um... So it wasn't... I couldn't spam it repeatedly. And... To put that into context, if you take a move like uh, Peach Neutral Air, right, uh, very safe on shield move. I believe it's minus two um, on the sweet or on the sweet spot of it. You have to use it two times to make it lose one frame of safeness, so it would go from minus two to minus three, and then you have to use it six more times consecutively before it becomes minus four on shield. Um, that's a massive difference, and that's just one example. There are other moves that are relatively safe, and I believe they have similar levels of like staleness. But Olimar had a button that was pretty safe. Not the safest. There are definitely moves a lot safer that had the drawbacks of the natural Pikmin. So like clanking, desyncing, so on and so forth. You could kill them on the startup of the move. Um, I had to manage my Pikmin to get them the right color to get it as safe as possible. And now it's to the point where it's minus 8 with a purple uh, baseline. And... I believe that means so every time after that it's going to get even it's going to get two frames less safe and so on. So now I can't pressure shield with that at all. Maybe maybe one depending on the character. Um but it puts me in a spot where like it's going to be shield grabbable a lot of the time. It's going to be easy to hit with an out a shield option. So I can't pu I can't pressure shield with forward smash. I can't pressure shield with up smash very well. Um I'm relying off aerials but Olimar's too slow to do them. So they've taken away his shield pressure game, essentially, but they didn't touch how any other characters pressure shield, um, for the most part. I know, you know, Peach got the Peach Bomber nerf, um, and that does do it somewhat, but at the same time, they can still bear and nair your shield perfectly fine. They didn't touch that at all, and with the way Float Cancel works and all that, they have very strong shield pressure. And a lot of other top tiers, they just lost kind of raw kill power. Um, so Olimar has to rework how he's playing neutral now, because you can't hit people, it's you're, they're discouraging you from hitting an opponent's shield because you're going to get punished because so many characters in this game have amazing out-of-shield options 
um, like an up ear, an up smash, or an area lot of shield. They're just so good. And now this is essentially saying, oh, you're playing Olimar? Well, you need to get away from your opponent. You need to camp. You need to not interact with them. Because if you do that, you're going to get punished. So while you're still going to use these moves somewhat, they're pushing for a less engaging type of play with Olimar, I feel. Um, on top of the less safety on shield, they're also, you know, the increased vulnerability, that does also increase the combos. Yeah, Olimar's up smash does have combos that were out of it, and it still does. But the thing is, that's how he combos. He doesn't have this, I use that move, and then I get to, like, pop you up and do it. Like, down tilt kind of does it, but it's also negative on low per negative at low percent sometimes. Like, a negative on hit. Like, if I hit you and you're a character, some characters can just hit me before I can act. Um... So up smash was his way to launch you into the air and start his combos. He's a big damage character. He's always been like that. Um, but now he's he still has big damage. He still has good combos. Um, it'll definitely affect the combo some, especially at the higher percents, and it'll make certain windows tighter, and certain characters will just be able to get out of it now. But now he doesn't have a way to like actually go for that very often without it being super risky, which is bad because of how slow he is and with all the other downsides he has and ways and lack of ways to properly pressure shield so i think they went a bit overboard on this i know most people won't believe me but when you look at how the character functions overall he kind of needs to have these things to be able to work in neutral without always being a, like a risk um which is what no other top tier has and is why i was confused on why they would nerf that specifically and leave so many other things safe um but we'll talk about up special now um what that what they did for this is so Olimar's up B is like a fuel system, right? So when I up B, I have a set amount of fuel. Um, and then when it runs out, you know, I go into free fall or whatever. And it recharges every time, every, I do it's every set amount of frames that I'm not using it, whether I'm on stage or off stage. So before you would up B and let's say you're almost out of fuel, you get hit all the way back onto the blast zone. You know, you could use that time to recover low, regain some of that fuel, maybe 60 to 70% of it, give or take some, and then you could probably up B again and make it back. And that was like the trade-off. It's like Olimar's up B didn't have a hurt, uh, hitbox unless you canceled with an aerial, in which case you would go into free fall. You can't cancel with an air dodge or anything else. And you often had to throw your Pikmin uh, onto the stage or off the stage to make the most out of it, which had its own set of problems uh, and potential downsides. So you already had to make these compromises to use this up B very well. And you would often have to take, oftentimes have to take a lot of damage from sword characters or characters with good um, edge guarding capabilities, just to make it back. And now, what this change has done, they've reduced the rate that you recover the up B fuel so much that if I use pretty much all of my fuel and I get knocked away, I will almost guarantee to not make it back um, in time because I will regain so little fuel. It's I believe it takes three seconds now to recharge fully, but when you're off stage and someone's getting you down, you don't have three seconds to just burn. And if you maybe get a second, you're getting almost nothing. So they've taken a recovery that was already exploitable and while good, had legitimate downsides and they made it terrible after one use. But once again, in the I don't understand some of their decisions, they left other things that were similarly powerful, if not more, intact. You know, uh, Snake Cipher uh, is totally unchanged, and that's an amazing recovery tool. Has a hurt box up top, gives him some armor, all of that. Um, you know, Rob B, he can get insane height with it, and I know his up B works a little different, but he also has ways, I believe, back air pushes him in the air. And I'm not trying to call out those characters and say they need a nerf. I'm just saying, Olimar's up special, I don't think needed a nerf at all and by doing that you've essentially neutered his off-stage recovery and given characters with disjoints or any strong edge guarding presence a much more easy pass to be able to punish him when he's already in his weakest area so to like wrap this up olimar now has a non-functioning shield because his hurt box is bigger than his model and they haven't fixed it yet he has incredibly weak in shield pressure now because his, both of his main smashes because down smash is also not safe on shield, never was um, both of his main smashes are even less safe on shield than they were before you know, they, they were they were safe in certain instances but now they're much worse so you're going to get you're going to get hit out of them a lot um, making his neutral game be 
more inclined to say run away and don't try to challenge them, don't hit their shield, don't pressure them, because you don't have a tool for it. Uh, they made his forward smash have a active sweet spot of two frames, um, and they reduced the range that purple forward smash goes again. So now forward smash does no shield damage, has a terrible sweet spot active two frames, is super unsafe on shield, and also and just like the smashes still lose the aerials. Um, your combo game is somewhat intact, yes, but you have to find a way to get in. Um, and then they made his up special just terrible after one use. You recharge it super slowly, so he's going to be killed off stage much easier by characters like Lucina, Shulk, who do the same thing every time. They don't have to worry about what sour spot they're hitting usually or whatever. If they have one, it's like, I put out this hitbox, you have to fly into it because your character only has so many ways to recover. Um, so... They just really, you know, beat Olimar down this patch really badly. Um, I think he'll still be good. You know, I need to play this patch more to really figure it out. Uh, he's definitely not the best character in the game anymore. You know, I was a strong uh, supporter of that for a while. But with what they did to him, and then with the way they left the other top tiers they nerfed intact, like they're still their fundamental same character. They still pressure the same. They might not kill the same, but they still pressure the same. They still play their their standard game. Olimar doesn't do that anymore. You have to rework that now. You have to rely off other tools. You don't get the pressure shield. You don't get the recover as easily. You have to hope you find the new way to mix it up when we've already been having to do that. On top of the normal, you know, Olimar problems like managing your Pikmin or making sure they don't desync or all, all that jazz. So... I think he'll still be good, but it's going to take some time to figure it out. Um, and I want to say he's still at the bottom of top tier. I'm I'm probably being optimistic. It's definitely possible, but you're going to have to just be maybe pressuring more with aerials if you can, and trying to just abuse the fact that they're transcendent, especially with yellows, just to like outrange people. Um, using a lot of side B, relying more on your jabs and tilts, even though they're also not really safe. Um, and and I don't like just playing around with it and figuring out like how much you can be using your smash attacks in neutral without getting super punished because he doesn't have much else to do in neutral and that was his thing and now they've kind of stripped that power from him some for whatever reason it is. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. They definitely definitely hurt him a lot this patch. Um, I expect the shield thing to be fixed if anything. Um, hopefully they, you know, revert some of these changes or adjust them to not be nearly as severe, because um, I think they went overboard, like I said. Um, but that shield change should be coming at least next patch, because that definitely has to be an oversight. Um, but yeah, so he's still probably pretty good. Just you're gonna have to be working even harder as Olimar to really make the most out of everything. You still have some explosive combos. You still have high damage. It's just now you have to play an even riskier game to be landing these hits. So yeah, good luck everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, that's that's my take on the um, on the uh, Olimar patches.